So first things first, we're actually going to be jumping into the map to do a map breakdown. Uh, we're going to do a task breakdown, a room breakdown to kind of just like get a feel for the whole thing. I've already been through the entire map. Um, I know every task, so it's all, it's all, it's all been pretty smooth so far. Uh, and yeah, let's break it all down. It's gonna be great. So first things first, I have angry eyebrows, by the way. Uh, first things first, I'm turn all the tasks on. Yeah, this, this map has so many tasks. That is one thing you will notice. There's just a absolute plethora of tasks. Now, unfortunately, there is one task on here on this map that is not in the, the menu here, but I'll just describe how that one goes, uh, because that one's pretty easy. Uh, so we'll start in the, in the cockpit. We're going to do a room by room breakdown of the whole map and just break it all down for y'all uh so we have first things first here on the left side we got the cockpit we'll go around the bottom and then up through here and finish probably in the center so the cockpit tasks we have uh the steering task here very simple you simply turn the steering wheel to match the outline right there and move this to the arrow task completed while we're in here i also want to point out this is where the admin table is you can see everybody in the whole map right here from the cockpit it's a big old map uh here you also have part two of a, of a power task but those are obviously on the other maps as well so you might be familiar with those already let's head down to the armory there's two ak tasks you see there's a there's a download here also we're not going to be talking about the downloads or like a lot of the tasks that are on other maps i want to mostly get into the new tasks here so there's two gun tasks here in the armory there's the ak you have to pick up both guns and then come around the corner right here and physically place them on the wall same thing down here in the bottom of the armory grab all four pistols and you can use space bar for that and then manually hang them up on the wall just like that now next up let's head into the kitchen now there's trash tasks littered all over the map um most of them are very similar tasks you just grab the top here and pull there's a couple of them that are harder to get out so you'll have to like really just yank at it until the garbage comes out of the pail but you just grab like where the loops are roughly and pull upward. This right here is the burger task. You're simply assembling the burger based on this recipe. So usually it's easier to go from the bottom up. So I'd say bun, meat, onion, lettuce, bun. So we have bun, meat, onion, lettuce, bun. Task done. Bam. Next up here in the viewing deck, this right here is a wires. This right here is a lights sabotage panel. This is a download, but there is also one other task here. There's two locations for this task out here on the uh, little balcony here. This is a cell phone task. We have to find reception. Basically, a cell phone will pop up on your screen and you have to move it around until you find the right, like good reception area. It'll say either good or perfect. Leave it there. The upload will bar will finish and then you've completed that task and can move on. For some reason, it's not in the free play. I don't know why, but that's how it works. So we're going to move to the right here past the halls of sus. Um, into security. Now, people hate this task. This is the cassette task or the VCR task. Basically, you have to match this time right here. So we're going to fast forward. Uh, it speeds up pretty fast, so it won't take too long. We're going to get right to about the 11 minute mark. A little bit more, a little bit more, and then bam. You hit the pause button right when you're on the correct timestamp and the uh, the task finishes. This also is where cameras is. There are six cameras in total. We have the engine room, vault, records, security, which is, you know, us, uh, the cargo bay and the meeting room. Uh, good to be able to scope out the map. Now, here's a fun one. Here's electrical. Notice all of these little door panels here, little door triggers. First things first, the which doors are open and closed in this area is random each time you load into the map. So once the game starts, it'll have a random configuration of doors being open and closed, which will stay that way for the duration of the game. Now, each of these panels has a number on it. You need to pull the handles down in the order of those numbers. So we got to find number one. That'll be it. And then number two is going to be around here somewhere. That's four. There's two. Now we need three. We have three. And four was right here. This one takes a minute. And then five. And then six was up here. And that's number seven right there. So go up here. We're going to do six. And then seven down here. Now, is there another task here? There is. Let's maybe have a look at that. This is the spinning wheels task. We're not going to go into that too much because, you know, we already know how to do it. This here as well. 
usual task but just letting you know where it is it's right up here in the top of electrical uh we'll go down finish the levers task and then we're gonna go into the next area boom number seven now here's a great time to talk about doors um oh actually okay i'm gonna have to make myself imposter back at the computer and then do a door sabotage to show you um but there's a new way to open doors in this map uh now we're in med bay we're in medical uh there is an admin uh sorry a vitals panel here so good to know there's a vitals panel right here you can check uh right up here another download location good to know here is another trash can so again same kind of style just pull the trash out pretty easy now we're in the cargo bay here's the thing get a little bit spicy uh this is the vault task a lot of people had trouble with this but when you actually know how to do it it's not that hard number one you gotta hold down the thing the entire time don't let go of this once you start the arrow here tells you which direction you have to spin the dial and the number tells you what number to land on so spin to four and notice another number pops up now go the other direction to five the last number pops up now go the other direction to three whoop we slipped a little bit there so four sometimes it bugs out a little bit let's reset it go to four and then five and then three bam and then you can open this so if you notice there if you overshoot or undershoot the numbers a little bit too much it'll reset the number but basically all you got to do is grab the thing turn one way turn the other turn the other until you hit those numbers and do not let go the entire time it's really not that bad even with a couple of flubs there it only took us like 15 seconds 20 seconds it's not so bad uh this of course is the gas task not much to say there another download right here and here's the bathroom this is gonna get kind of weird first of all you can open all the doors that's a lot of fun now we have the plunger task where you got to grab the plunger and go up and down really fast until the pressure builds up absolutely vile <laughs> oh actually before we go up there there's one more important thing for me to grab some info notice this exclam right here in the middle that is a kind of a two-parter task oh by the way in cargo bay this is the other uh lights panel you gotta fix but right up here this is a two-parter this panel right here shows you the code and that panel is where you put in the code so reveal code emerald ruby emerald ruby oh that's easy so emerald ruby emerald ruby remember that and we're going to be inputting that up here when we go around so now let's go around and then go up and around here we did the plunger task already going to go up here into the records room another download now there's a trick with this one ordinarily you'll have to hit this and grab each folder and put them in the four different like corners of this room um there is however a way to cheese it depending on which uh which folder you you grab so you click a folder and it'll tell you where to put it now watch this I've only put one folder in so far right if I go up here and do this bam so I was on my second folder I was not on my final folder but if you open this one right here specifically and spam click it it'll finish the task so I notice I just finished that task in one go now over here we have a little elevator panel now of course it's on the other side so I can't call it uh but this is where one of the uh reactor-esque sabotages is right here we have a part two of electricity and we have um what i believe is also a lights panel and then a download right here so now we're gonna go down through here into the showers ah here's the laundry task so we're in the showers right now you have to pick up all these pieces of laundry just like that pick up all the laundry and then you gotta yeet them into the bin so it's hard to kind of get the aim right but if you throw them up in just the right angle you can usually land them in there but sometimes they overshoot a little bit and they will by the way they will as you can see they will clip into each other a little bit they will bounce off each other there is collision and there you go there's a wire right there uh and then we have the shower task the actual shower task itself oh you can just drag them in but i think that's less fun <laughs> now with this one you have to make the shower stand perfectly upright so you gotta hit it just right so you gotta hit it on both sides in just the right way to make it line up vertically now let's input the code from earlier and that was uh emerald ruby emerald ruby bada bing and that's done now we're gonna come around here to the main hall uh we have here a shower task it's very similar to a med bay scan you just stand here and it, it it washes you off yeah so there's some talk of this map possibly being opened up to 15 players we'll have to see with that one now here's the dark room task all you gotta do drag the photos in let them sit in here for one minute 
It's just like vials. You got to put them in there and then come back later. No problem. Uh, this here is one way to get into electrical. Notice how if I go down here, this is back in the electrical area. Let's go back up there. Yeah, the, these Among Us beans have some big ass hands. Uh, right here, another trash task. Now, this one is a little bit more tricky. You got to kind of weasel it out. There we go. Got to give it a good jiggle and it should come out. Uh, we have like some bedroom-esque rooms here. We have some part two of uh, various tasks here. The vents are spread throughout. I wish you could do something with this treasure chest. I like the treasure chest. All right, back through here. We're going to go up into the uh, gap room and I'll show you the little uh, platform download here. Oh, first, let's do the vault. Okay, here's the vault. There's two tasks in here. Well, three if you count the download, but there's two new tasks in here. There's the ruby in the center. So you gotta polish off all these little smudges. Very easy. And then a mannequin, you gotta put a costume onto. The costume is right here. Put on that hat. Put on that. Put on that. Bada bing. Beautiful. Uh, you'll notice how there's no vision around this gold pile. So there's the possibility of some sneaky antics there. Going over now to the gap room, we have a vent right here, which connects to a vent on the other side of this platform. And you can ride the little platform back and forth. But remember, you can't call the platform. So it has to be on your side if you want to ride it. Now, if we go up this ladder right here, we're going to end up up here. This is a normal trash task. This is a normal part two of power task. This is where the button is. This is the meeting room. Bear that in mind. Top of the map is the meeting room. And in here, another task. Same thing as Mira. Put the code in. It's the usual kind of deal. Not going to waste too much time on that. Now, uh, real quick while we're here, because I think I've gotten to all the tasks, let me show you a little bit about how the actual meeting works. If I call a meeting right now, it plays that little jingle, by the way. Dun, 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 which sounds like the NPC jingle. I'm going to skip vote. Uh, and then we get to choose where we spawn first. No one's voted out. And then we get to pick where we spawn. You see? So this is a fun little way to choose your location. Let's go down to the main hall. And bada bing, we appear there. Here we go. Now, let's turn on the imposter mode and quickly show you all these vents. Now, first of all, each vent system on this map is a network of three. It's a network of three vents in one little chain. This one connects to kitchen and this bedroom. So cockpit here connects to, bam, the vault, and uh, down here in the viewing area. There's another vent over here. This one connects to cargo bay and to the records room. And most of the vent systems are like that. Most of them network in a small triangle like that. So bear that in mind. One that's really fun here is this one, this vent here, because this connects to both sides of the bridge. So I can go bink come over here let's say you're chasing someone and they get on this and they get away because only one person can ride this at a time pop in the vent go over here climb up and then kill right there nice and easy now finally let's do the doors the door opening task is now a card swipe but the card swipe speed is not the exact same as it is on polis with polis you can usually get away with uh, wow, actually that was quite fast. So yeah, usually you can get away with like a gradual or like a, a speedy at the end kind of swipe. This one can be a little bit more uh, delicate. Generally a smooth motion. Oh, see, there you go. That's a bit too fast. Uh, a smooth motion that goes all the way to the end. A smooth motion. <laughs> oh God, I'm going to die. A smooth motion. Just like that, making sure, because again, the reason you get bad read is if you don't hold the card all the way to the end of the swipe. So if you let go early, it'll say bad read. Hold it all the way through and you'll open it, no problem. But yeah, a nice, a nice just smooth motion. You can even speed up a bit at the end. A smooth motion, holding it all the way through, the door will probably open. People were complaining, but it's really not that hard, especially once you get like the knack for it. Once you get used to the speed, it becomes much easier. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's a few little tricks and, and tips here and there, but nothing too crazy. Here's the comm sabotage right there. There's a download panel here. I'm gonna do a murder. Uh, let's see if we can see what it looks like when someone gets uh, thrown out because the animation is actually pretty funny. Uh, I'll vote, I'll vote dummy five. Oh, <laughs> come on. Just, we got to vote somebody out. <laughs> Oh my god. The new sounds are fun. Uh, we'll go to the brig. The brig is, by the way, the brig is the best spawn place if you need to get to button. So, for example, if you're like, oh my god, we voted on six and we were wrong. Oh, sh if you got to get to button quickly, try to spawn at the brig. Um, it is the closest location. Uh, there's a lot of new kill animations. So, every, every new outfit 
that was part of the DLC has a custom kill animation for it. I should have voted for myself. Yes, every new cosmetic released has a custom kill animation. So I'm told. Uh, yeah, we can look at the sabotages. There's three lights, which has multiple panels you can fix. Comms, which is right up here. And then reactor, which is these two panels right there. Uh, beyond that, not too crazy. Um, they're fairly ordinary. I'll even pull it up here. One thing to point out is this is a little bit different. You are timed. So both of the different codes have to be put in within a certain, a certain time of each other. There you go. Just like that. Yes, and putting in one code successfully does reset the, reset the overall countdown. Okay, we got to get somebody thrown out. Uh, Orange! Okay, watch the new animation, the new throw, uh, voting out animation. It's I love it. It's so dramatic. It's so freaking dramatic. I love it so much. Oh.